Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. We are doing the Caribbean Sail Part 2. Uh, I have long been overdue for doing this one. Uh, we're gonna start a little target practice here while we're on the main screen. That, uh, that top hat fish always cracks me the hell up. Uh, now, as I've said before, if you haven't seen my other video, this is a great little game. Well, it's not too expensive, very affordable, and very, very fun, and that was actually my phone going off trying to mess with me during a friggin' uh, let's play, so let's stop that. Uh, I do these live, but we don't edit stuff, because I keep it real. So anyways, the Caribbean sail, in a nutshell, think Oregon Trail on the high seas with a lot more variety, I think. Hunting is more fun. Let's just dive right into it. Uh, now we have the same names here that I normally keep. Uh, Space Cat Mutant Dog is down there sleeping right now. Space Cat is wandering around somewhere probably begging for food. Gary and Shelly are sleeping in the swamp. Uh, they have some reviews, or actually they have some reaction videos coming up for you. Uh, so what is my... Profession. Now, this is where this game gets tricky, guys, because not only do you get starting gold, you get a score multiplier. So you really want that multiplier because it helps you with um, unlocking new ships. You can unlock new ships. I was told to stick with the fishermen, so we're going to start it. Uh, the raft, I was told, don't do, do the sleep. Raft is pretty much hard mode. So you see what I mean here. I can't do the brigadine yet, because I need to unlock that puppy, so. Uh, now, I want to say, in the shop, we can actually do two different things here. There's pitch. Which is great for repairing ships. If you don't know what pitch is, it is like a, a tar. Uh, there's some bait. Um, I'm a fisherman, and I do okay. There's a shanty, but I feel like that's a luxury item. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do here... Oh, son of a biscuit. Gotta do some harpoons, baby, because that's our livelihood. We should at least have one spare sail. Um, I feel like we need a few cannons, right? We, we need some cannons. Um, I always suck with cannons, so it's not like I expect that to do me a lot of good. But the reason I stick with the harpoons is because I do alright with the fishing sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Um, we are going to start off with just, or am I just wasting my time there? What else can I get for time? I can't get shit for time. So we're going to actually start off with just enough food to keep the mouth from bitching. And, uh, we'll hunt the rest as we go, guys. And let's spend, uh, this money here on some more cannonballs. So we're stocked with balls. Let's talk. I saw a young lad step into a ship and says, Left foot first. Found for trouble he is. Um, well, you can play Liar's Dice in this as well, but first we're gonna start sailing. Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. A bird just shit on my tent. It hurts on my tent. And my uh, ship and I actually just got a thing that said got shit on, so that's funny. Uh, this game has a lot of humor, which I dig. I don't want to waste any hurt pains, and I'm not seeing- Oh! Gotcha! I get all excited, man, when I play these. Oh, cool, you son of a bitch. It's alright, it's alright. Give myself a pain. Come on, baby. What is with my timing today? I'm normally better than this. The sad part is... Uh, when I play this and I don't record it, I fish so much better. I think I just get nervous. Just a little rhythm do it. But I've already wasted... 
quite a bit of money here on our things versus the food I've got, so I need to get my shit together, guys. There we go. Um. There's one thing I'm horrible with in this game, but it's definitely ship battles. So if any of you have any good advice for that, drop it down in the comments, let me know what you do. Uh, I'd like to apologize to the dev, I actually wrote him and I told him I would be doing another video for this ages ago. And a bunch of hectic stuff has came up in real life, where it has just been a pain to try and keep up with that, so... Uh, this is probably the latest Let's Play I've done, and I do not wish to do another that takes this long to do. I normally believe in being prompt. Uh, there are, are developers who have been kind enough to throw me a key here and there, and normally I try to get to the game within the hour of getting the key because I think it's the nice thing to do. So that's normally how I roll. Alright. Now if I remember right, I can only hold a maximum of 200 over here for fish. Um, oh, I haven't even set sail yet either. Jeez, I keep forgetting that. Get a quick set sail, guys. Don't be dumb like me and not do that. I'm dumb enough for everybody. Wait, did I just in some way? I just in something myself. You see what I'm saying, man? Alright, now this is the tricky bits here, see, where you got a reef, guys, so... Uh, now this is why I say I like this game better than even Oregon Trail, and that's big praise from a guy who grew up with the Oregon Trail himself. You can take a sounding. So check this out, right? So the water depth tells me my hull's only submerged. Eight feet. The water depth is 20 feet, so I should have plenty of room between me and the uh, reef to cross, I hope. That is the basic idea with taking a sounding. That would have been great in Oregon Trail, a game that is notoriously friggin' difficult. Now, there is a multiplayer aspect. We sank on a reef by Twitter Captain not to try and cross it. Uh, every one of these is a real message from another player. Uh, I think when you die, if I remember, you get to write one. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh god, oh god, hold on. Let's, uh, let's go fishing here. Yeah! Let's be honest, I really shouldn't have caught that one. That was just pure luck, but I'll take it. Um, I get too giddy about these things, frankly. God, I should have not waited. The, uh, the, the, somebody had some advice for me on how this works to, like, a uh, telltale. Shit. I'm doing horrible, man. We'll probably be doing, like, two games of this in this Let's Play. Because, uh, I have a feeling I am gonna be dying real quick. Uh, I do try to catch enough fish to sell fish. Re buy harpoons and then re catch fish all over. That is one gimmick that I do do. Because I end up with more money that way than I lose. Uh, I want to see the top hat fish, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can swear the top hat fish give you extra food. Obviously, the turtles do. And the uh, treasure turtles give you uh, money, if I remember. Why am I doing so friggin' horrible? Yeah, um, another thing that I really dig about this game, guys, and I've said it last time, but in case you haven't watched it, let me recap here. You can actually buy other flags, which is smart, because if you have a spyglass, you can check your spyglass and see who you're creeping up on, and if it's like a pirate and you're, you've got, you know, uh, if you're English and somebody's Spanish, you definitely don't want to be flying the wrong flag, or you're going to get some ass kickery going on there, and unless you're good at it, which I am not good at uh, ship combat in this game at all, uh, it is my least strong suit, then uh, you don't want to be messing with that kind of thing. Alright, we're wasting enough harpoons here. Food for everybody, people. Food for everybody. 
I think it's logbook inventory and this. So you can do that and you can see there there's our flag so we're flying the same colors. So we know they're friendly and they're good to go. So we're going to do some trading with them. And uh, we are going to approach. Hello, bosun. Slow the man down. Do, 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 do. So now you will see we are getting our money back. We are going to get the harpoons back. And voila! You can see here that has left us with a little, a little money left over. And now we are going to get. Uh, that is only five, five bucks. Can't pass up a five dollar sea shanty, I can ya? And some apples to keep uh, scurvy away from the crew. So let's do that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just put a little food back. Just a little food back with us. Um. And we got even enough to get ourselves another another cannon, so now we're gonna go ahead and do some more fishing. Uh if I remember right, fishing near or in a storm does it better. As you can see, they're much more active right now. Will we make it the whole way? I'd like to believe yes. I don't know. I feel like you guys are my lucky charm today here, so we'll see. Um, now I am going to tell you all. We have got uh, quite a journey ahead of us. And I have decided to take your all's advice. There will be a uh, game series I'm going to do a series of. Yes, we are going to bow into the common denominator of YouTube Let's Players and do a series. Uh, I'm not going to say which one yet. Uh, one opinion I would like from you all, though, feel free to drop it in the comments. Should I make it its own playlist? Or do I just keep it on Let's Plays? What do you guys find easier to watch? Um... I'll get some opinions, too, among among the, uh, the Steam friends I have, but I am curious. Down the road, I know there's another one that I want to do that I'm keeping quiet about for now as a series. Oh, <gasps> you guys, did you see the majesty that that was? I'm not gonna even try and jinx that. Hey, we got a free Danish flag. I will gain take it. So let's see if it's true or not. Did the fish jump more during the Oh, they do. Right before a storm and in a storm they do. So Yeah, one harpoon, but I lose like two or three, I'm not too miffed about it. If I start losing like five or six, then I know it's time to pull back the net for now. Speaking of which, you can buy a fishing net, by the way, which uh, does quite a bit. It's nice. I guess I could swear I've had a fishing net in this game. I know, I know I have. Developers probably quit talking shit. Um, I have a horrible memory, I've told you all before. Probably a bit, you know, due to age. I also used to fight a lot when I was younger, so... You get knocked in the head enough times, and believe me, not everything stays where it should. Some of your marbles come loose, and, you know... I'm demarbled, baby. Demarbled. Alright. So I got more than enough food right now, my crew's gonna be happy about that. Look at us hauling ass, we're doing good. Anchor your shit right about here. Let's take a look and see if I can see this other flag. God, I don't know if I trust that, guys. Uh, let's use Drunken Sailor, shall we? 
Oh yeah, I already own broken stone. I'm a goof. Let's approach the ship. <gasps> Look at that mulatas. We rich, bitch? Alright. Looks like we're really stocking up on some stuff the next time. I am excited about that. That is good. Look at us. Condition's good. Everybody's good. Knock on wood. Knocking on the wood. Let's go fishing for some food. We don't want to get lax on that. Oh, I, did, I got him. Sneaky, sneaky, baby. I will tell you all, growing up, uh, I had a favorite pirate, Blackbeard, uh, aka Edward Teach, although no one knows that that's his real name. Um, there have been a lot of stories about that, and whether or not he was a certain type of, getting a friggin', I am literally getting a, uh, what do you call it, a robo-collar, uh, as I do a Let's Play. Quality stuff here, people. Quality. Um, I don't know about you guys, but the, it drives me nuts that they can call cell phones. And I guess it's just a natural progression, of course. House phones are becoming a thing of the past. Most uh, places now do unlimited of some sort, so they're doing what they can. But, I mean, come on, guys. Um... Although I guess call centers are a job they need a living to. But yeah. Anyways. Let me just talk about my excellent fishing skill here. Um, anyways, as I was saying. So yes, Edward Teach. And I found him fascinating. Not because he was the most successful pirate. Because he wasn't. Uh, not in the least. Uh, but Blackbeard did do something quite amazing, and that's that he cultivated image. He was a master of cultivating fear and image and reputation, and learned kind of like a psychological game with him, you know? He knew how to get in the minds of his crewmen, um, to a degree that was scary. Uh, they thought he was the devil incarnate. Um, he also would braid ropes of hemp in his beard and light them on fire so that when he would approach the deck of an enemy ship, you would just see this towering man because he was quite tall. Um, some of you may know, but a lot of humans have steadily grown in height. <gasps> Mutant dog has been taking bigger fortunes. Gotta punish him. Log him. Two and one to grow on. One more. One more. <laughs> I pissed my own crew off. I've never had to do that before. He has dysentery now. That's what he gets for dysentery. Huh? Bad joke. Gotta love it. Uh, let's... Can I use the items here? Can I... Yeah. Let's feed the crew some apples. Get them to shut up a little. I'll whip y'all again. God, that, I'm a dick. I, I feel like that is it. Should not be threatening my crew with that. They're not even a real crew, what do I care? Um, but no, I mean, it is a sign of a, a good game. You do get into this, though, you know what I mean? Like, I remember... It's not like Oregon Trail. If you remember Oregon Trail, who didn't play Oregon Trail and put all the names of the classmates that pissed you off in it? And laughed when they got, like, dysentery or, you know, typhoid or... Uh, in this one, I actually care about the crew. Mostly because... Uh, they're my puppet pals over there in the swamp, sleeping. Um, 
And of course, our pets. So, a little more invested. A little more invested in my caring of them. Uh, I could give a shit about them. But yeah, so. I feel really bad about the fucking mutant dog there. Like, I'm gonna have to give him an extra TREAT. I'd say it, but he's literally, like, right there. So, he knows, too. He knows. Dentist sticks are his favorite. You have a very picky dog. I don't know if you guys do, but man. You can give him, like, tons of stuff normal dogs would eat, won't touch it. Give him a dentist stick, the dog will go crazy. Like, feral. Like a honey badger and a beehive. Just nuts. Oh, you liked that one, did you? Thought you guys would. Um, I probably have enough food, but we're gonna go a little more here. Get unlucky. What do you guys say? Two more? Oh my god, LeBron shot. My fellow Detroiters would hang me for that, but oh well. Set sail, baby. Yes, I wanna open it. What luck, there's enough pitch and tar to fill a to fill a bucket and a bucket too. So we got some pitch. Now what's going on with this whale here? I don't know. No space cat! Not typhus. One plus one window, it could save your life. One plus one equals window, it could save your life. I have a feeling maybe that's a hint for something, so we'll 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 try that. One plus one equals window. Okay. Um, I want to say I had heard something about the whale, but I do not remember it. And I wish I did. Because I feel like I'm missing something vastly important right now. Um, god, I don't know what. And I should point out as well that this developer... No! about damn medicine. We stop again, we're getting some medicine for these folks. Um, Lord knows I have enough money now, I just can't shop anywhere. That, uh, it's worth saying here that the developer has promised free DLC, guys. So if you pick this up, uh, then you're gonna get some free DLC. They're doing, uh, one that lets you pick multiple places to travel to instead of just the one. And from what I understand, uh, there's supposed to be a toggle or some sort of sea legend thing. So maybe, maybe a kraken, maybe something, maybe a little something there, maybe a little legend. Not at liberty to say exactly what, but I've heard, heard rumors and rumblings of uh, sea beasties and creatures from legends. So. Uh, Pretty cool. Pretty cool of a dev to give out free DLC. Uh, it's something now that I see a lot of devs that will nickel and dime people. And uh, I'm not calling any devs out, but you know who you are out there. And so, good devs like this that care enough about their players to actually want to keep enriching their game. Gotta respect them. Mutant Dog pulled through. Come on, Space Cat. You can do it, baby. Where is another ship? Okay, now I- whoa, 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 now I do know here. Places like that where you see- oh, see, look at that shit, dude. Fish everywhere. I feel like it just- Oh my god. Well, we got more than enough fish. Yes. Yes. Sweet. Got some bait. Birds overhead means fish normally as well, but I cannot keep fucking with that. Shit, 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 shit. Please be a happy ship. Please be a happy ship. Please be a happy ship. My inventory. 
is uh, well guys we got to decide here we got some things we can do some generous portions for a while for the crew. Maybe they'll fight better. Never sit on duck. Oh god, I wasn't even doing this. Oh god, this is so not good. Yes, we'll write a message in a bottle. And remember to aim the cannon. Don't think Gary roll. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, Alright, well, let's try one more time, guys, shall we? I feel like that fisherman worked out pretty good, guys. What do you think? Hang on, sleepy. Sleepy, hang on. Alright, so I feel like we had a good thing going on there. We did two of these. Uh, one of those. 20 of these. Crawling net. That would be great to have. The British Grenadiers. I'm an alright fisherman, but I feel like that net would be lovely to have. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get some bait this time around, see how that does me. Set sail long enough to hit here. And I was correct. The birds let me know where those fishes. Shit. Alright. I always got one harpoon. I, I like the first harpoon I almost always miss. I feel like it's like my gauging harpoon, you know what I mean? Like, um. I don't know if you guys have ever used slingshots, but if you have, then you know what I mean about a tracer shot. They sell these uh, marbles. They do, actually, called tracer ammo. They're basically just, like, milk-white uh, marbles, and they're good for seeing where your shot is actually going. Uh, growing up, uh, I was never really a hunter. Uh, and although my brother did some bow hunting, it's in our family belief that we don't hunt for sport. Um, we do have a bit of Cherokee in us, and it's even if we didn't, it just the idea is kind of pointless, you know, to me. If I'm not going to eat it, why would I hunt it? Same thing with fishing. If I fish, I fish in places I can actually eat what I catch, and I learned at a very young age how to clean um, and properly fillet a fish and cook it. Uh, as far as bait goes, I can recommend to you all my personal favorite for an all-purpose are crickets. Uh, they kick a lot, they vibrate the water nicely, you, you get a lot of you get a lot of attention from fish with crickets, so. Crickets and mealworms. Two I always recommend more than worms. Nightcrawlers are cute now, but crickets are like a dozen a dollar. Go with crickets. Trust me on that. You'll be uh, you'll be happy you did. Now that we are properly fooded, we've adequate portions, we're headed out. 
I feel like you do better off with fortune right off the bat. So it's important to me here that I make wiser choices. Uh, because when we hit pirates, I think next time... Let's take a sounding. Oh, uh, that's deep. I can cross that. I can cross that. I feel like I need, like, a pirate hat. I can have a bunch of different masks and a uh, pirate hat. The Bones mask became the one I wore the most because it's the one that people seem to like the most and I got the most response on. Don't be a missionary, somebody said. Position? Huh? Another bad guy joke. Sorry, guys. Um... But I will take that advice. I don't think I played a missionary. Maybe I did. I played a banker, I believe. Not the banker, the uh, the governor, is it? Um, the rich guy, but he gets no scores, so... But uh, apparently a missionary is something you don't want to play. Historically, religious types like reverends were thrown off ships. This is true. You can look it up. Because it was considered bad luck to have them on board. Uh, and you want to talk about non-women power. Even women were sometimes a sign on some vessels of a bad omen and would be tossed overboard. Uh, to the point where if they did not stow away, they didn't go. This is true. But yeah, there was a big debate about like religious... Uh, Religious folks on ships. There were plenty of ships that would not carry reverends across the sea. Wouldn't touch it. Believe that they were just a bad omen. Um, and some of it had to do with the, the region. You know, it depended on the region. There were a lot of Celtic uh, folklore with that. There were a lot of people who believed that Poseidon would be angry. That somebody who was preaching a new god would be allowed on board their ship, and therefore you would get them all sunk and Poseidon would kick some ass, so... You know, it is what it is, people. Um, but the game is quite charming here, I like this game. We're going in blind this time. We're going in blind. I'm feeling, feeling lucky. Alright. Let's approach it. Boy, do we need some shit. What do you got? Shit. Same old shit. Alright. We got some apples, we got some pitch. We're gonna go back to selling most of our food. Fill up on our harpoon. I wish they had medicine here. I feel like I would really like them to have medicine, please. But they don't. Why did I say please? Like, you guys are instantly gonna be like, yeah, okay. Because he said so. I'm a dork. Okay. Uh, I should probably try for pitch, but we're gonna hold out. We're gonna hold out. I uh, suck with battles anyway, so what we're gonna do instead is roar this ship up the best we can. And, uh, set sail. And see what we do here, folks. Is that a Kraken? That's a friggin'... Oh, okay. Holy cow, that frankly scared the shit out of me. Alright. Now we got this going on here. I'm still operating under the theory that this gives me more... Or, I don't know if more food with better chances. Oh, yeah. Um, but you see what I'm saying here. You can... There's my one miss. No, the top hat fish does not give me any more food. He's just very dapper. So we're going with this here. We're doing this. Uh, da -da. Oh, I got a achievement called Nailed It, I think, because I was like just at the very tippy end there. Got him. I could nail a few more of these turtles, they're worth quite a bit. I could just get like three or four turtles, that'd be set, man. 
Toidal Soup. Post it in the comments if you know what that's from. I'm not gonna say it. So this is the second. Oh, look at that beautiful shot. Couldn't have done it better myself, but I did. So technically I did. That is a weird saying if you think about it. Couldn't have done it better myself. And people say that when they do shit like I just did. Well, you did do it yourself. Food for thought, right? I'm not even drunk, people. That's the sad part. I should play this game one day drunk. Would you all like to see a game series where I try to do Let's Plays drunk? Yes or no? Comment below. Um, although I, I have the feeling I know the answer. Everybody likes to see people. They can ask them, so. Which I do on a regular basis anyway. No mutant dog. How will we get by without your howling? He is out cold on that floor there. I don't know if you uh, saw the video we did yesterday, but if you did not, he is exhausted because it is super hot in Michigan right now. It has been in the 70s, 80s, and just belligerently hot. And uh, we actually had a our AC break, so we actually had uh, a whole day where we didn't have the AC on and had to go through and get it back on, and it took hours to fix, so we had to uh, recharge the Freon, um, so yeah, right now this dog is super happy to be nice and cool now, to the point where he was running around the house going all crazy, doing like that crazy dog things dogs do when they're happy. Um, hey Dev, here's an idea, speaking of which. I think it would be hilarious to have more silly fish. What about like a fish with a cat head for catfish? Um, could be funny. Throwing it out there. Uh, let's see here. I, I personally love the top half fish. I have actually nicknamed him Ronald. He's one of my favorites. Oh no! You know what, though? Maybe we'll change it to Reginald. I feel like Reginald is a better name for Top Head Fish, so... I'm gonna go with Reginald. Yeah, I like Reginald. Hear that, everybody? Top Head Fish named Reginald. Ah, dude. I do not want to waste a single heart pin. Nope. And I did. I did. As soon as I said that. Take the shot. Okay. And my phone's going crazy, and I do not care. Care. Cute little whale. <laughs> Space cat, no. You're from space. How does influenza even work on you? You're cosmic. Now we're coming up to a battle. Now, the first time I played this, actually, I got a Steam key uh, for another game. So that was a trip. Took my eyes off the screen for a moment, hit something, and sunk. That sounds like a nasty way to go, people. I try not to let my food hit past, yeah, see, let's think of that. I try not to let my food get past, like, 70. I feel like that's a, that's a good number to stock up again. Um, I do, I think they're more hyper in the rain. Can anybody confirm that for me? Um, ooh, look at that! The old razzle dazzle, lane for one, got another.
The other problem, if you, uh, I'm getting a lot of questions, by the way, about our lighting. Why is our lighting so screwy? Why is it sometimes I look darker, sometimes I'm super easy to see? Uh, we have a huge window behind me. And depending on the day, the time, all that, that I do these videos, sometimes the lighting rig we have to my right wants to work well with the above lighting and the side lighting. Other times it hates it and washes me out. Other times it actually adds more shadow. So that is something we are working out, guys, so sorry for that. But uh, it's, we're aware of it, trust me. We are even less thrilled about it than you are. Well, probably not, but I mean... Yeah! Immediately, let's get to some apples, because some of my crew is sick, and I want to help. Even though they don't have scurvy, I'm still going for it. You're gonna... Yeah, what's that sound like? Base gets well again. Get down with your bad self, Space Cat. I feel like if I can get to the hang of a pirate uh, combat in this, nothing will stand in my way. <laughs> I'm probably wrong. As Space Cat catches influenza, I say that. Oh my god. Hold on. Anchor. Inventory. Medicine. Use. Alright, good enough. I'm almost at our things yeah. Oh my god. That was a long shot. I wasn't actually sure if I was gonna hit. See, I'm aiming. Find a new technique here. It's called missing. Perhaps you've heard of it. Why do you think I was going to lie to you and say that I meant to do that? Come on. When I suck at something, I will blatantly tell you while I suck at something. I do not bullshit. I like to call our little channel the most, uh, the best, worst channel on YouTube. We put out a ton of content and still barely had subscribers, so you all feel it in your hearts. Do post our favorite video of yours on your uh, on your Facebook, maybe um, on your social media. Spread us to your friends like a bad cold. Um, every bit helps, people. We enjoy what we do, but we do enjoy having viewers. So the more the merrier. Everybody's invited. Come on down and all that good stuff. We want a prize only. The prize is bad jokes and occasionally puppets. We can get a hundred subscribers. If we can do a hundred. Then uh, perhaps we will do a special video with uh, me, Gary, and Shelly all in the same video. Uh, either doing a reaction or doing something special that we have not done yet. Maybe, if we hit 100, we will even do a street interview series featuring Gary and Shelly. What do you guys think of that? So, that's something to think of. After all, we want to make it fun for you guys, too, so... Oh, I do not like that thunderstorm thing. God, my crew is looking rough. That is a big MF ship. <laughs> you better believe I'm not going to be brave enough not to look at that. Oh, son of a... I wish, like, you could just stay here and they'd move, but that's not going to happen now, is it? So, it's a do-or-die situation, guys. What are we going to do here? 
Ah, we went down fighting at least. We went down fighting. Uh, I have no idea what the heck I was even going to write down. Okay, we went down fighting. So there we go. The Caribbean Sail. I am Bones. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. You guys have a great day. I'm going to snap a little screen shot of this title screen here for our Let's Play uh, thumbnail. Anyways, so yes, you guys have fun. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And bye-bye.